Guys, I've just finished my last book of 2023. It's currently December 31st. Means it's the last day of 2023. And I just finished my last book. Which means that I've completed my 30 book challenge for 2023. And yes, I make sure to meet my deadlines. <laughs> it's such a good book. Oh my god. Exactly last year, my last book was No More People. Fell in love with that book. Five out of five read, obviously. Now, this book, I've read it once, and I was just like, I read it like this, and I was like, that's a good book, 4.5 out of five. I decided to read it again, and I took the time to annotate. I don't think you can really see it well, but it's such a good book, and it's a five out of five read. You have to read this book. Take the time to review my reading stats usually i remember i don't remember if it's in january where story graph does a like yearly recap it says that my i mainly read non-fiction books that are reflective informative and emotional medium pace and any small books i'll read it okay under the 30 pages 300 on the 300 pages i'll read it by the way i have over like 800 books in my to read pile just like I have over 1500 videos in my to watch later on YouTube. Yeah, I have a thing with like always putting it for after and then when I have time I just like compile everything. But the thing with books, the fact that although I'm interested in a book, I will not necessarily follow a trend because it gets me stressed out about like I have to read the book and be with talking with other people. There's just so many books that were big talks of 2023 and all the obviously the past years and I'm in no hurry to read them. Okay, so main genres are self-help still, but I did say that I want to take a step back from reading self-help books. I think I've read my fair share. I wanted to start reading um, what's it called Atomic Habits, and then I was like, you know what? This is not the time of the year to read it for me. I think. Beginning 2024, if I wanted to read it, or yeah, but if like I was trying to like finish my 30 book goal, so yeah, it's not a book to read right now. Literary, yes. So I think there's like a one book difference. I have seven self help books, and I have ah. So yes, literary and contemporary, contemporary romance psychology. Yeah. Okay, so out of the self help books, which ones? Yeah, I, like, they were, I'm not saying they were flops, but it's just, like, I, that's why I need to take a set, step back. But I think the one that really impacted me the most was The Defining Decade. And I'll, I'll also say A Gentle Reminder. Some quotes there were, like, oh, okay, yeah, that's nice. And then Literary, yeah. Yeah, I did read, again, Normal People, yes, I, I know. Her. But, yeah, like, great reads. I'm really happy. Contemporary. Oh my god, this book, La Delicatesse, I need to have my own physical book so I can annotate it. That was a good book. And I feel like if I read it again, it's going to be a five. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, all of these are great books. Vers la beauté. That is such a good book. And I, I have my own copy, but I think I could read it again and annotate it correctly. Ooh, it's like those books. I know they're good books, but I have to write, I have to read it again in my physical book and annotate them, which I will do another video about how I annotate my books without destroying them. And you can see my, okay, I'll remove the pages because to be honest, pages don't really matter to me, but the number of books, you can see that during the summer, I just didn't read. But also at the time, my family was here, my friends were, I say here, like in London, so. I was just like always with people and yeah also summer for me it's not really like my best time because I don't have uni so I'm not as busy and I don't really manage my time I'm just like procrastinating way more so yeah but I managed to catch that out in December I've read six books in December that's crazy unfortunately I can't do the my year in books because it's based on the algorithm from Goodreads and I don't have Goodreads, I have story graph. I don't know if I want to do like on a separate video, but I think it's fine now. Do you have any reading goals for 2024? 
I don't have specific books that I want to read for 2024 but I think that I've been saying this for like the past three years and I've said oh I want to read books in Spanish and Italian and I've not done any of them so hopefully if I can implement it in 2024 just read even even if it's a children's book I want to read it so something in Spanish and something in Italian just to practice those languages because I did six years of Italian during secondary school and then I did three years of Spanish during my uni so I, have to, I, I don't want to forget about those languages they're really cool and yeah and other thing I think I want to incorporate more audiobooks into my reading I think it's very difficult I don't have like an account I don't have audible or all of that stuff but I do know on YouTube sometimes they have classics and um, by the way like it's so funny because when I did um, in, I was in English advanced in for some reason in secondary school and it was a big challenge for me because English is my second is like my second language third language and it was difficult for me to read in English at such an advanced level so I would just rely on audiobooks to help me read and I I didn't do it since so I think like getting back to audiobooks would be nice yeah but other than that I don't really have like books that I have to read I think I still going to put my goals for 30 books but I really do need to like track well um, how many books I want to read and all that stuff I'm giving myself you know in a month if I read one book every two weeks or so I think it's gonna be good but yeah it's finally January 1st 2024 happy new year hope you're everything's going great I actually got the notification that my story craft reading wrap up is finally here oh don't tell me my wife is not acting up right now oh perfect congratulations on a first time reading here you got 30 books yes so about 60 pages first book yes so yeah last book oh, such a great read it was literally yesterday so last year my mood oh. lighter books push the line up and darker books pull the line down Ooh. okay so i was pretty happy i guess and then yeah october november my longest book yes 50 shades of gray it's not a bad book it's just it's not my vibe i gave it a 2.5 star read out of five and then emu was the shortest book actually i think i'm gonna read more children's book just to like make my inner child happier and it was like it's it has a nice uh lesson in this book average book you read was 226 pages around 24 days to finish each, each book yeah i really took my time i think this well i really do think that 2023 i had a bigger issue finishing books yeah i'm not talking about this book this was trash <laughs> but it was like really short and then most time spent lisa yes and that was on my ebook my on my e-reader so yeah five star read no more people and i'm actually going to read it again on the play on my way back to the uk yes and that's like an actual perfect september was my highest average rating really and May was my least. Ooh. What did I read in September? I think in September I read. What did I read? Oh, it's just one book. Oh. Oh, no, no. Okay, two, that was a good book, yes. Okay, so this is my a 2023 I, a glance. And I really do like how they do like those little. Yeah, it's really nice. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so I'm just going to read. 30 books again for this upcoming year of 2024. Hopefully, I read one book in, in Spanish, one book in Italian. And then, yeah, really. And I think I might incorporate more audiobooks. But then again, I don't really have a plan of specific books that I want to read. I just let the flow come to me. Wish you guys all the best. Best luck for 2024. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.